Hi folks, this is going to be another inclined plane problem. And here's what's going on. Zelda is loading an ice truck by pushing blocks of ice up a ramp with a constant force of 150 newtons parallel to the ramp. So here is the block of ice, my little dot for center of mass, and she's pushing it up the ramp with 150 newtons of force parallel to the ramp. The ramp itself makes a 20 degree incline and uh, the block of ice has a mass of 35.0 kilograms. I want to know what is the coefficient of friction between the block and the ramp if it's moving at a constant velocity. As always, we're going to start and we are going to draw all the forces on our block. So this is my force applied. Friction opposes motion. So if it's being pulled pushed up the ramp, what's happening to friction? Friction is going to be down the ramp. Friction is in the opposite direction of motion. Force of gravity straight down towards the center of the earth and normal force perpendicular to the surface. This is going to be my normal force. Remember, I want to get my forces in an XY pattern and I have gravity that's out of alignment. We're going to sum our forces parallel and perpendicular to my incline. So I'm going to break the force of gravity into components. Make a right triangle here. If this is 20 degrees, this is 20 degrees. This is going to be the force that is perpendicular to the incline and this is going to be the force that is parallel to the incline. Now we're going to sum our forces in both directions. So the sum of the force parallel to the incline and the sum of the force perpendicular to the incline. Now for each of these we ask ourselves the question, does it equal zero or ma? It's Newton's first or second law in that dimension. Well in the up and down the ramp the coefficient of friction, if the block is moving at a constant velocity, keep your eyes open for that, that phrase, constant speed or constant velocity, because what that means is up and down the incline, the sum of the forces equal zero. Perpendicular to the incline, the, force, the block is not falling through the incline, it's not being pushed up above the incline, so those forces also equal zero. Before I write my equations, I just want to make sure I have all of them identified. This is going to be an up force. This is a down force. That's a down force. Let's take a look. This is going to be an up force. That's going to be a down force. Those are all of them, and I like to differentiate my forces with color so I can make sure I don't forget a vector. And I've got to pick a direction, what I'm going to call positive and what I'm going to call negative. Well, I'm going to call up the incline positive because that's the direction of motion, and down negative but honestly, in this problem, it doesn't matter because the forces are going to equal zero, so the downs have to equal the ups in all of these situations. So let's make our equations. The sum of the forces parallel to the incline, force applied is an up force, and that is going to equal my two down forces, which is equal to my force of friction plus my force parallel. My force perpendicular to the incline, that's normal and force perpendicular. So force normal is going to be equal to that component of gravity. Let's put our numbers in. Force applied, we were told that the force applied is 150 newtons. Friction force, we can replace with mu times normal force. And force parallel is going to be equivalent to the force of gravity. This is the opposite side, so times the sine of 20 degrees. 150 newtons equals mu. I don't know mu, but that's what I'm solving for. Let's go get normal force because I know I'm going to need it. Normal force over here is going to be equal to my force perpendicular, this force up here, that's the adjacent side, so that's going to be force of gravity times the cosine of theta. So force normal is going to be equal to my mass, acceleration of gravity, cosine of theta. In this case, mass is equivalent to 35 kilograms. Must remember the acceleration of gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared, and the cosine of 20 degrees. 
So this force is going to be equivalent to, I don't know, let me pick up my calculator, uh, cosine 20 times 9.8 times 35. I get force normal is going to be 322 newtons. Now that I have that, I'm going to take that normal force, plug it in here, mu times 322 newtons, plus force of gravity, mass acceleration of gravity, sine of 20 degrees. And I'm just going to pull all of this down so I have a smidge more room to write. 150 newtons equals mu, my unknown, 322 newtons, plus my mass, 35 kilograms, gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared, times the sine of 20 degrees. So I'm going to have 9.8 times 35 times the sine of 20. I get 117 newtons. Kilograms times meters per second squared is a newton. So I've got mu times 322 newtons plus 117 equals 150. I want to get all those newtons on one side of the equation. I'm going to subtract 117 from both sides. And I am going to end up with mu is going to be equivalent to 33 newtons once I do this subtraction divided by 322 newtons, and I get a coefficient of friction of 0 0.10, which makes sense we're dealing with something really slippery, like ice. Okay, that will do. See you later.